Song here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make my rustic apple tart. And this is one of the many, many reasons why I love fall. Fall flavors like apples and pumpkins, you're going to see a lot of that. So if you want to learn how to make my homemade pie crust, which is what I'm going to be using as the base for my rustic tart, please make sure to check out that video and I will post the link to that at the very end of this video. Also down below in the description box as well, so make sure you check that out. Uh, this recipe is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Keep watching and I'll show you guys what you'll need to do. I have here my sliced and peeled golden delicious apples. I use three. To that I'm going to add in a third of a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a pinch of salt, and also, I didn't show it, but half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And just, you wanna mix it very gently. You don't wanna break up your apples. Into a small bowl, I'm gonna squeeze in half of a lemon. Then I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of cornstarch and just whisk this together until it's nice and smooth. And then pour this mixture into your apples. Doing it this way just ensures no clumps of cornstarch throughout your apples. And then once again, just get in there and mix it ever so gently. You want to let your apples hang out for a little bit while you work on your dough. This is homemade pie crust. I will post a link to this at the end of the video and also down below. So I removed it from my refrigerator and I'm going to place it on top of a piece of parchment paper. Now to be honest, I took mine out of the freezer first and then I put it into the refrigerator because I didn't have that much time. And so I'm going to start whacking it with my roller just to get it to flatten out because again, it's pretty, pretty cold. Or you can let it sit out for a couple of minutes before you do this as well. And the trick here, if you want to keep it a uniform circle, you want to start your rolling pin in the middle, work your way out towards the edges and keep turning it. So roll it out, turn it, roll it out, turn it, and always start from the center. And I'm just taking a pizza cutter to make it more prettier because, you know, I have OCD. And actually, it's more for video and picture purposes. You don't have to do this if you're just baking, you know, it's staying at home, not going anywhere. And now for the fun part, just start arranging your apples, placing them in the center, and just overlap them. And you kind of want to start fanning them out as you're working outward. And you want to make sure that you leave at least about a half inch border. So enough room to where you can fold over the edges. So I'm just finishing up my second layer. And I'm just going back for the third layer. I'm just stacking them right on top of my first layer. And then again, I'm fanning them out. And you know, obviously, if you're not trying to impress anyone and this is just going to stay home anyways, just dump the whole thing onto your pie crust. Flatten out your apples and then proceed with the next step. No big deal. And now we're just going to start rolling up our crust. It's hard to explain, so just kind of watch. I have my right index finger that's pushing up the dough, and then I'm folding it over. Pushing the dough, fold over. And when you're done with that, go ahead and place your tart onto a baking sheet. Now I have an egg wash here, which is just an egg white with a little bit of water, and I'm brushing it onto the crust. Next, you want to sprinkle some raw sugar all over the crust. And last but not least, you want to take that leftover juice from your apple mixture, give it a nice little stir, and then pour it all over your apples. I like to do this part last because I don't want the juices to seep into the crust while I'm assembling my tart, and then it's just going to make it soggy. Finally, you just want to bake this off in a 375 degree oven for about 40 to 50 minutes, and I like to rotate it halfway through. Mine took about 50 minutes in the oven. Now I'm just brushing it with a little bit of melted butter. If you have it, you can microwave some apricot jelly or even apple jelly and place that on top instead. Now it's time to eat. This is going to be so good. I'm so excited to try this. Oh man, that crust looks so good. Let's get some of that ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. You gotta top it off with that vanilla bean ice cream. 
I just picked up a jar of caramel sauce next to the ice cream aisle and then just drizzled that right on top of the ice cream and it just melted into the pie and it is so amazing. Get that little hint of cinnamon and then a little tartness from the apples and then that vanilla bean ice cream and caramel just takes it over the top. You guys gotta try this one, you will not be disappointed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to click on the picture up above to learn how to make homemade pie crust from scratch.